Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome to my workstation, desktop, gaming station, tour, whatever you want to call it. People have different names for their little work area or entertainment area. Um, so this is a tour of mine and it's going to be a flop in a lot of people's eyes. Actually, it's a flop in my own eyes. I know that sounds crazy, but uh, considering how much space I have to use, I'm very disappointed with it, but you'll understand why. So um, just at the entrance, there's, there's a few things that I want to show because it has some sensitive information. So starting here at the entrance, we have this air hockey table, which doesn't really work properly. Um, so it's become a, a to-do pile, where I just pile a whole bunch of stuff that needs to be done. And I've been really busy lately, and you'll notice that the pile has just become out of control. It's just become too huge. It's never that messy, but it's time for me to clean it up. But that's what that air hockey table is there for, and I'm going to be getting rid of it soon. Um, but uh, all in due time. So duffel bag or gym bag, a bunch of stuff for the winter holidays. Um... And from far, actually, let me just let me just get back so you guys can see a better view. Uh, you'll see I have a marker board, which I'm trying to just cover up. I don't think there's sensitive information there, but uh, I don't want to show it just in case. It's usually where I have my errands to do and a bunch of stuff to do on YouTube. And there is a piece of artwork. Um, let me see if I can show you guys. I'll show you from a closer angle. It's a Batman artwork. Well, basically, um, you'll see here that from this brown shelf up to this black drawer, or drawers rather, I've had the same setup for about seven years. I'm in a different area, but just the setup has been almost the same. I maybe switched that drawer from there to inside the desk. It's been the same even before I started on YouTube, so it's time for a change. But anyway, starting over here, we have a closet with some jackets and some random junk. It's quite messy. It needs to be sorted out. Some raggedy old Chester drawer, um, some product boxes on top, um, some smartwatch boxes, Nexus player box, so on and so forth. A guitar, which I haven't used in a number of years. I was really passionate about it. For probably about eight months, I would practice an hour to two hours a day. And then when university kicked in and life and marriage, I just got busy and never got around time to it. So I really do want to get back into it, but uh, when I have time. This is my primary camera. I usually keep it in a bag just to prevent dust from getting in, but I don't really like the way it looks like that. But it's a Canon T5i um, DSLR. Here's my drawer with random stuff. So other people do this on YouTube, so I'll give you a quick tour. Uh, just a Nexus 7 wire, which is my main wire to plug in any Android device to my computer. Uh, Zoom H1 mic. Um, this is a dead cat, which I put on the Zoom H1 if I ever want to record outside. It'll block out all wind noise, which I haven't done, but I would like to do soon. Uh, oh yeah, on the top you have this six, seven-year-old laptop. It used to be my wife's. Um, it does work, barely. <laughs> but I just kept it for experimentation purposes. The Sennheiser is, I think, HD201 headphones. Great, great budget headphones. They are usually 40 bucks. They're over the ear, so they're extremely comfortable for hours. But I can get on sale for like 24 Um Here, you got a bunch of batteries, uh, portable charger pack, which I think is 10,000 milliamps, a portable router, a bunch of micro USB 2.0 wires. This for me is fantastic. It's a SIM card tray adapter. Uh, so right now I have, I think, the smallest, I don't know if it's micro or nano, I think nano is the smallest. And then when I switch to a phone that requires a bigger SIM card, I take my SIM card, put it in this tray, and put them both in the phone, it'll fit. So I never have to switch my SIM cards around. I get the smallest one possible, and I use this. Right now one of the trays is missing. It's currently my Galaxy Note 4, so great looking contraption there. This drawer, there was an explosion in here with wires, and it's going to drive some people mad because of the mess. It'll just drive some people crazy. There's a lot of wires in it I don't use or need, and I, I so they just kind of get piled up. And, um, you know, some headphones, they don't even really work. They're my old gaming headphones from my World of Warcraft days. Uh, I think I was an undead rogue. That was my primary, undead rogue. Uh, I was a Torin druid, which... Didn't really use that much. And a Torrent Hunter, which was my main secondary, I guess you can say. Um, oh, so the chair, which is one of the best things I have. I got it from Staples in Canada. Usually it's like $320. Um, we purchased it the week after Boxing Week sale. So this is like the first week of January. Regular price is $320. I think we got it for like $140. And they still sell this, I think. So... Yeah, something to keep in mind. Don't don't go crazy spending on Boxing Week. 
get some better sales after when no one has money to spend. Um, so yeah, this glass desk, I think it's 60 by 60 inches, um, and I've had it for about seven, eight years. It, it is rock solid. I it just there's not many scratches. There's hard, actually not even any, I think, and it's still intact. I can't believe it. This glass desk, I got it like seven, eight years ago, for 120 bucks. A few months later, they started selling glass desks for like 180, almost the same design. So it's kind of weird, but as much as I love it, the problem is that you can see everything, right? There's a lot of wires, poor cable management, and for those of you who have seen my solid state drive video, how to install solid state drive, this is my go-to PC, uh, quad-core i7 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, solid state drive, blah, blah, blah. There's terrible cable management in here, in this PC, I don't really care, it works great, it does not get congested with dust. People might not want to believe it if you've seen that video, but face it, it's true. <laughs> anyway, so I know there are some methods to hide the wires and conceal them, because it's a glass desk, you can see everything down there, right? I could just drop, say, black uh, cardboard, it'll cover it up. It's just, I need, a, I need a change, I need to change the desk, but moving on. I don't have a gaming keyboard, this is just regular compact keyboard. My primary keyboard died, it was a wireless one, so I haven't done PC gaming in a very long time. So this compact keyboard is, is doing the job for me, I'm okay with it. This is the Logitech G5 if I'm not mistaken, it's about 7-8 years old. Great gaming mouse. Um, it's very old as you can notice. It takes weights, it's got a lot of customizable buttons. I think this can even go left and right, up and down, that is a button as well. Uh, DPI buttons, it, it's great, I need to change it but it's this has been like, man this is great mouse, can't get over it. Speakers, they are horrible, I know, they're probably, I think they're over 10 years old. I'm not keen on major sound with a computer. If I want a great sound to put my headphones on, I'm more of a home theater enthusiast, but I do know that these speakers need to be changed, they're an embarrassment. Anyway, so, moving along, here's a 24 inch 1080p LED monitor a 21 inch LCD monitor, so this one's nothing special. You notice that the colors don't match. I've been trying to calibrate this one for the longest time and gave up. This cannot match that no matter what I do. The colors will not match. Not only that, this one is like seven, eight years old and there's a few dead pixels on it so this monitor has to be replaced. Uh, my primary, I have a review on it. You can find a review to that and the headphones I showed, you can find a link in the video description. Um, so this is a decent monitor. Nothing's fantastic, it's just good. Coaster, uh, the Note 4, my primary device right now phone rather. It's a little notepad, Bluetooth headset. I never reviewed but it works great. It's a Motorola, I think HX550, something like that. This is a four hard drive bay. It can take four terabytes per a, a bay or slot and uh, right now I only have two filled in and I have six terabytes total in there. So each hard drive is three terabytes, so I have max of six so far. So I have two empty slots I plan to fill in. It's not a RAID enclosure, it's just regular. Um, so yeah, there's some artwork. Uh, my Nexus 7 2013 edition tablet, that's my primary tablet. And it has been since 2013 when it released. A couple of degrees, one is my wife's, uh, the other one is mine. I have a degree in information technology Surprise, surprise. I mean, look at my YouTube channel, right? So, I am a geek through and through. Uh, so, both of us are university graduates, so I wanted to put that up because I am very proud of that. So, let me just move this over here. There's not much to show here. An explosion of wires. Um, there's like, I think, three smartwatch charging wires, two tablet, and one phone. Giant mess. Uh, it's, I'm a messy guy. I, I don't like my setup. It's a big mess. Uh, nice little figurine I've had for a number of years. A couple of media players I've had since probably September, I never got around to review. I do need to review them. This drawer is just random stuff in there. Most of it's not in mine, but in here, uh, charger and battery grip, a quick plate. This is stuff for the Canon T5i's, not much, but I don't really need that much for it. A very, very old Sony pocket camera, a couple of um, car chargers it looks like, grill tripod, a couple of lamps that came in my softbox lighting kit. I don't use them because they suck. This is where I usually place the HX Sony, uh, sorry, the Sony HX20V camera, which I'm using to record right now. Great pocket camera. A couple of tools, um, hammer, little like multi screwdriver, multi purpose kit. 
this has been okay this is my bag during university it's my my primary bag it's great primary slot is for a laptop this is a dual core processor laptop that takes three to four minutes to start up and then when it starts up it takes about another minute or two to open google chrome it's it's that bad and old i i know it's surprising that i have a bad laptop considering my youtube channel but i just don't use laptops anymore ever since i finished i either use my desktop or a tablet so i never really wanted to spend that much money on a laptop if I have no purpose. The other slot is for textbooks and whatever, but if I didn't take my laptop to university, I would also fill this side in with maybe my binders and stuff. And it has a crazy amount of slots. Great, great bag. I still use it a lot to this day. Okay, so my slider for the camera, a $20 tripod microphone. I'm going through this quickly because I'm running a bit long. A Pentium 4 computer. I, so that's probably like 15, 16 years old, that PC right there. I know that sounds crazy that I have it, but someone needs to get rid of it. They need to switch their computer. So I was like, hey, I'll take it off your hands just for experimentation purposes. And it still works. It's running Windows XP. Uh, so yeah, I'm a geek through and through, but whatever. Air in a can. Lots of air in a can. Garbage. A couple of Nexus 7 stands. Uh, one is a portfolio like leather case. I'll put links to those reviews in the video description. Boxes for the HTC M8, the Note 4, uh, the Nexus 4, a whole bunch of devices. Whatever whatever phone boxes are there, I'll put links to those reviews in the video description. It's a bunch of figurines, some like One Piece figurines. Uh, man, One Piece has kind of sucked since the White Beard arc. Well, in the manga, anyway. A um, couple of books, yearbooks, whatnot. And, uh, oh, here's the Batman artwork. Alright. And my lighting kit. This is a softbox lighting kit. It takes about 15 to 20 minutes to take apart and then another 10 to 15 minutes to put up. I have space and I have to get rid of this air hockey table so I just figured just leave it standing up. I just can't be bothered to disassemble it and reassemble it. So considering how much space I have to work with, it is a giant mess. Well in my eyes it's, it's a giant mess. Its potential is underutilized greatly. But uh, I do have plans to change it, I just don't know when and how. But there'll be some major changes made, a lot cleaner and better. But um, yeah, I, I don't know if anyone even found some use for it, th uh, this video. Hopefully somebody did. That was my Star Wars calendar. Um, but yeah, if, if someone did, by some chance, if this video even gets a decent amount of views, why don't you go ahead and check them out. My Facebook, Google+, Plus, Twitter links in the video description. Hit the like button, it does help as well. And that's pretty much it. Take care.